Hey guys, what's up? So, I have a couple old jump packs that I actually want to fix. I've actually had these for a long, long time, and I don't know if they, uh, a couple of these things don't hold like a full charge anymore. Like this one, I can only get to three quarter charge. Like right now, it's pretty low. I haven't touched it for a while. And this Mighty Might that I've had for 15 years at least. So, actually, I wanted to take the batteries out of here and uh, see if I could recover the batteries and reuse them. Or, worst case scenario, buy new batteries. But, uh, yeah, these are a couple old jump packs. Right now, they're kind of useless to me because they're just sitting in my garage. Like, normally, these would be in the back of my, my uh, trucks. But, um, so let me uh, I'll take these apart real quick and get the batteries out. I'm going to put them on my multimeter. And, uh, I want to actually see what's really going on with the batteries, not just hook them back up to the charger again and see what's happening because I can't get an accurate voltage reading, and that's kind of what I want. So, like I said, I've had this one for 15 years. I'm just curious to see the date on the battery. But um, let's get this one going real quick. Be back, I'll just take the screws off and we'll pop the cover off. All right, so, okay, so, cut the screws off. And one of the things I liked about this charger versus this charger, this thing actually had a direct, like a hook up AZ directly to it. Like the extension cord and charge it that way. Whereas this one required like a little adapter. And what annoyed me about that is there was no storage for the, the AC adapter anywhere on this device. So, if you lost your AC adapter, then, you know, then you're screwed, I guess. Let's take this one off. I, I, I'd say I've never opened these up before, so I don't even know what's what's even in these things. If I need to pull these wires out. Alright, let's see. So I do see a battery in there. Okay. That's really what I'm looking for. I just want to see the battery here. Okay. I don't mess with the electronics too much. Okay, I need to... I'm assuming this is probably going to be metric. Actually, I don't even know where it's made. It's probably made in China, obviously, but this is 15 years old, so I don't know yet. They weren't really, I don't think, 100% in production in China yet. Alright, so I need to get a little small wrench for that. Positive and negative. And it's a sealed battery, and I'm going to pop that cover off, and we'll check the water level. Alright. Alright, so got the battery disconnected, and actually what I did is I kept the wires together, because the positive wire is actually black on this thing, so I didn't want to get them confused with put them back together so I kept them kind of together the way they came off. Well, let's take the battery out. Let's take a quick look at this thing. So that is the, this is the circuit in the front. Battery status, charging indicator, recharge, all that stuff. Okay, let's look at the charger. Let's see that thing comes off. Okay, that's a cigarette lighter, that's the reset button. So these two yellow wires feed the AC. So this actually front circuit is also a charging circuit too. All right, so let's uh, put this thing back on the tripod here, and we're going to take a look at the. Uh, so I don't think there was actually any problem with, it, with this mechanism right here, the charging and the uh, thing. I think it was 100% the battery here. So this is a uh, 12 volt, 7 amp hour, high rate. Made in China. Okay. So what I'm wondering is, I, I guess I never liked how big this this battery pack was. So I'm wondering if this thing actually uses the same battery. But I'll find out here pretty quick. Because I'm going to be working on both these at the same time. All right, so let's take a quick little uh, voltage reading here. I don't know if you can see that, but all right. So. 11.88 volts. So that's actually that's a good sign. That's actually, uh, I mean, 11.88 is not perfect, but it hasn't been charged for a while. So that's actually good. That I mean, it makes me think all the cells are fine. At least I don't see like there's not a dead cell. So 11. Point, maybe you can't see that, but put that on the camera there. I guess it's not, there you go, so it was 1188 was the best I got, so. Okay, so. Let's see if I can pop this cover off here. 
But uh, I'll come back. I'm going to try to get that cover off. I can get it off right now. There we go. Right off, just like that. Okay, and then you have your little filler tubes here. I, I want to check the, the, the water supply. So I guess these are actually the, the pick up water if the water gets spilled. I'm going to keep those. All right. Let some air out. Scared me here for a second. Made a noise. Yeah, air came out. All right. So. Like I said, this battery is 15 years old, so. This will be part one of the video series because I'm going to go back and charge them. Okay, let me see. Uh, you're probably not going to be able to see in there, but maybe I can get the, the light correct. Definitely looks like the water's low in some of these cells. I, I can see some sulfation. Get my glasses on here. But. Um, I'm going to add some water here, some distilled water, and then uh, give it a couple minutes. Alright guys, so take a look at this one. This doesn't look good. <laughs> Lots of corrosion in this one. It definitely has a bigger battery though. That's cool. I'm glad it wasn't just a big uh, faux case, you know what I mean? Look at that. Corrosion everywhere. That means it was getting gas. Gas everywhere, you know? Um, so I definitely have less confidence in this, in this setup here, so... Right, this one's not even worth messing around with, I don't think. But look at the terminal thing. Then all the battery acid leaked out. So that's what happened, I think, originally, was it somehow leaked from here. And, I mean, I already blew out my air compressor. And just, just every way it looks. So I'm not going to even bother with this one. I'll just focus on the other one. So, yeah, if I do actually have to buy another one, I'll buy like one of those lithium ion ones. So, right. Alright, guys. So, um, have a little distilled water here. And uh, I don't use regular tap water, there's too many minerals in it. I'll just kick this up even more. So, put my glasses on here. Okay, I'll try, I'll try to do it with my hands so you can see it. I can tell these cells are not. That's taking a lot of water actually. Look at that. Still going. Wow, it took a lot of water. More than I thought for sure. Try that again. Okay. I guess they're shared cells, it looks like. So, yeah, it looked like they were a shared cell. Like, it was like an overflow on the top. Okay, cool. So now we got some water in there and none of the uh, plates are exposed anymore. So I don't, I don't expect this to <laughs> make any change. So we were at 11.8 before. Huh. Why are these cells are attached together? Okay. Take the multimeter again. Let's see where we're at. See if changed. I highly doubt it, but we'll see. So, about the same. Let this sit for a couple seconds and we'll throw this on a charger. My, uh, I have like a rejuvenator. And I'll show you that in a couple seconds. My different chargers I have. Desulfators. I do have a couple of these, uh, what's it called? I have videos on these things. These whiz bang desulfators too. I do actually have a bad emergency battery bank here. Uh, I did have a previous video on that, but it's a six battery uh, golf cart battery. It's my emergency battery backup. All right. All right, guys. So I can see a bunch of like white powder come out of here. So I'm going to put the caps back on and uh, send this over to my charger. And then I drain the top of the water off. And then uh, I'll show you my charger. It's, it has a rejuvenator part on it. I'm not going to hook it up to one of my desulfators. I don't want to get dirt in there. 
um, we'll bring that over there and uh, put the thing on a charge and I'll come back I want to look at that desulfation I don't think you're gonna be able to see it but the plates in there are kind of flaky white so hopefully I can break that up all right all right so this is my emergency batter battery bank area right here and it's connected to an inverter probably not the smartest place to have on top of gas tanks but um, yeah, in case I have a power outage, I just basically hook up some of my inverter. Uh, okay, so those are my leads, my old uh, red top battery, which I keep. It's actually, I got, I got it to fully rejuvenate, but there's a cool feature on here. I'll show you this battery charger. I get it, did a review on this a, little, a couple of years ago, but uh, get that going here. I should know. I'll know if it's connected correct if I get some voltage. So let's do a. Uh, okay, so it went up to 12 volts. So either my multimeter is wrong or it did it actually go up with the water. So that's actually pretty good. 12 volts. I mean, that's not actually that's not a load test, but that's definitely nice that I can hold that. So I'm gonna do. It's called a recondition, and this is actually like a, a desulfation. So I'm gonna do a couple of these. Uh, so it's reconditioning. It's going through, and it's desulfating the battery. So. I'm assuming one of these caps will pop off as this thing is charging. Um, hope you can see this. I know I don't have a lot of light in here, but so I'm gonna do that a few times, and we'll come back. And we'll test this again, but I'll come back next week, and we'll uh, get it going.